Hello, welcome uh, to this lecture. Uh, in this lecture, I'll teach you how you can calculate NDVI. Um, uh, NDVI is a normalized difference vegetation index. Um, let's just go actually um, uh, go and uh, um, check what what that um, index is uh, before we we you know get a deep dive into the code. Uh, so NDVI. So NDVI, according to Wikipedia, here's some you know, NDVI maps of the global uh, NDVI um, you know, data. Um, so the definition is, uh, so the normalized difference vegetation index or NDVI is um, a simple graphical indicator that can be used to analyze remote sensing measurement, often from the space platform assessing whether or not the target being observed contains live green vegetation. So it, it's technically um, a band transformation, uh, mostly using um, a, red, um, a red band and a near infrared band to kind of highlight the health of a vegetation. So higher uh, NDVI, usually it ranges from, um, um, actually all, it, all the time, it, it ranges from minus one to one. That's the range of the, the, the data value. And so mostly, uh, you know, greener vegetation um, will, will range from, you know, um, nearly point, um, point 0.2 to point 0.8, uh, point 0.8 being a very dense forest or vegetation where point 0.2 and point 0.3 um, uh, being a pretty, you know, sparse, um, vegetation cover, especially, you know, lower biomes like uh, grass and, you know, grass herb and things like that. So it, it will it will tell us the condition of a vegetation cover um, by using this, this um, you know, band transformation or, um, you know, this, this, this um, index, we can monitor or check the vegetation cover or the health of a vegetation, if it's dry or wet and, and, and what have you. Um, and, and then here's the, the calculation, the formula that, that would be used um, to calculate NDVI. Um, so near infrared minus red, um, uh, the, the, that's the numerator and the denominator is near infrared um, plus red. So for any um, you know, given sensor, be it a Sentinel or a MODIS or Landsat, um, you just enter the two bands near infrared and red and you 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 input it into this formula and then we'll just generate the the index and it's a very popular um metrics in the remote sensing community so let's get back to um the the code um the the playground the earth engine playground code and then get started so in, in this in this lecture our objective is again to calculate ndvi uh, using Landsat 7 um, top of atmospheric reflectance data. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing as always is I'll load um, a Landsat data and I'll, I'll just create a variable called Landsat 8. 8, actually 2008, that's the year that I'm interested to visualize. Uh, or just use the, the the NDVI calculation to be based on, and then e e image since I'm importing the Landsat 8 data, and then Landsat I'll provide the image ID LE7 because I'm using Landsat 7 data, TOA it's a top of atmospheric five year, so I'm using the five year composite data. And the year is 2008 to 2012. That's the composite period. And a semicolon to uh, close my statement since it's uh, JavaScript. And the next thing is to actually calculate the NDVI. So um, write my title to change the... the Okay, so compute NDVI and I'll declare my variable NDVI to 2008 since I'm using the 2008 data, Landsat data, and then I'll um, call this Landsat 8 image 
because I'm using that to calculate my NDVI, right? And the next thing is to call uh, an Erzingen Buellting normalized difference function. Call normalized difference. You see? So the difference is if I type in here, it's just a text it doesn't understand it. So if I type in the right function name, so normalize difference is an earth engine built-in function, then it changed the color. So uh, and it 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 um, it, it uh, requires um, two bands again. I'm providing um, uh, again if you go back to this formula, uh, it requires a near infrared and a red. So once you give that. The two data, the two bands, then it will it will automatically calculate NDVI for you. So you need to enter band four and band single quotation to be consistent, and then band three, and then close my statement. So this will calculate the N NDVI from this Landsat image. Okay. And the next thing is we need to visualize actually the data. So let me create a visualization parameter, NDVI, farms, and let me just open a curly bracket here. And then let me define the minimum value and the max value, um, 0.6. And the other parameters, the, the palette actually. I'll provide some color codes for this and it's a list of colors and then so my color code I, I already know this beforehand so again you don't have to worry about this I already mentioned color brewer um, color brewer you can go ahead and just choose any color in the color brewer and use use that in your in your function here color parameter function um, so the next color that I want is C2E699 and the third color that I'm interested for my NDVA visualization is okay the next one is and the last one is six eight three that will be it so we have our um our color um defined here the last thing is to actually display the data okay so display and dvi okay we already calculated NDVI. Now we need to see if that's um, really, uh, you know, working properly. So, so as always, I'll um, use the map add layer function. Uh, we need to make this cap, okay? And then I'll use my NDVI image here. I already calculated in mean DVI, and um, actually, since it's um, you know large data, I'll clip it by my study area, and then I'll use my visualization parameter here to um, um, input the different colors that I'll be interested for the visualization, and I'll provide a name for that. Since it's a 2008 data, that makes sense. And as always, finally, to optimize the zoom level, I'll use the map center object. And I'll adjust the zoom level to six. And that will be it. And I'll go ahead and save this um, and execute that. I already have this script, so I don't need to save it. In your case, you need to save it. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and execute the code click run excellent so this is my NDVI um, <clears throat> using Landsat um, 
seven five year composite or epoch uh, and we calculated that for 2018 using band four and band seven of landsat seven uh, band four and band three of landsat seven and this is our ndvi for ethiopia as you can see here the colors the yellow area is mostly dry if you change to satellite and if i just check here so most of this area is a dry area if you see the ndvi value it's mostly yellow so it's just working fine and if you look at some of this um, green areas high ndvi they're just mostly maybe um, a river you know river basin here some sort of um, wetland area and also if you look at um, some part of the western part of the country mostly vegetated you see you know d you know deep deep green here um you know it, it indicates more like forest or healthy vegetation cover or dense vegetation cover if you check the google um image here it, it's it's exactly matching that right it's uh, it's greener and it's mostly forested area so that's how you would um, calculate uh NDVI, a normalized difference vegetation index, um, which is a popular uh, index in the remote sensing community, and how you can easily you know, calculate that using a JavaScript Erzingen um, API.